Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're actually having, we had a rethink between ourselves, didn't we? In terms of our Mayday Jobs, Mayday News, and we're actually going to move uh, slightly away from that, would you say? We did. We were yeah. supposed to do it last week, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was an absolute manic week. Um, so we're doing it this week instead. So we're trying a new format where we'll invite guests on and we will have different topics of conversation with those guests and actually explore more into what, how, why they're successful in those certain areas. And also just to give more more value to you guys watching <laughs> at home or at work or wherever you're watching. Yeah. Um, so what the topic we, <laughs> <laughs> the topic we agreed on this week is something that we we often get really frustrated with ourselves being salespeople. Is um, we just what what how how do we word it? What's the the, the topic? Should I say? It, what, is it we that just want we would, we just want to be engaged. Is that is that how you go? Is that yeah. yeah? Just just to be. I wouldn't I wouldn't go as far as say respect. Well, I might. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get that first, no, think, uh, you get that first yeah. time, don't you? Like, you know, you've been through 10 or 20 sales calls in a row and you've not been... Matt, we, we all know you don't do 10 or 20 Yeah, all right, sales. yeah, yeah. I was going to make a flow. Um, a week might right. be nice. <laughs> yeah, I was just, all right. When you've done a number of sales calls in a row and you're not getting the response mm. you want, right? And, and you're getting quite short, um, fairly impolite responses. Yeah. It's not very nice, and, it, and you're only human, and we've touched on it, haven't we? Yeah. You're doing a job, right? Yeah. We appreciate that it, it isn't the service that everyone wants to be speaking about day in, day out. It's probably the, the umpteenth time that day that that person's been called mm. about the same subject. But it, I don't, you know, I, it's an old adage, is it? Uh, man's mm. cost a thing, right? Yeah, okay. You know, there, there, there are underlying principles that I think that everyone should have, including mm. ourselves, yeah. um, uh, around the way that people are dealt with. And that, that's, mm. that's my only bugbear. I've gone on too long, so I think as a, on a personal level, I know when I receive sales calls, whether it's um, whether it's uh, at work or at home, whether it's uh, whether it's a window salesman calling you. Um, yeah. In fact, I had one of those at work today. <laughs> um, no, you're very rude. Yeah, no, I've <laughs> made a conscious effort. I've made a conscious effort to take more calls and actually right. give a bit of positive feedback. And the thought being, obviously, um, we're constantly talking about. Um, how people are responding to you on the phone, etc. And yeah, manners don't cost a thing. We don't expect everybody want uh, to want to um, to want mayday service, etc. But um, not yeah, away. just not straight away. Yeah, yeah. we work on it. I yeah. guess it um, also. I guess it also depends on how you approach the call, because when yeah, we sure. we explicitly tell people during our sales calls that we're here to introduce ourselves if we haven't spoken to them before, and we also just want to establish whether there is scope for us to work together. And the only way we can actually establish that is by speaking to the person who would deal with us. Yeah. So if we're speaking to the receptionist or, or the person who answers the phone and they can't assist us with what we're asking, it's best to speak to the person we need to speak to to actually establish moving forward. That's when we time, kind of get the, 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 the horrible responses and actually, oh, you're from a recruitment agency, you're the 15th that called today. But then actually, if you went across your departments and actually had a walk around, there are salespeople in your company that are doing exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so I speak. I'm speaking across the whole board in terms of every single organisation. I just think there should be more, like you said, a bit more people actually decision makers taking uh, the conversation, actually taking the call, and just actually putting people in their place. I say it to people. Yeah. I say I'd rather you put me in my place by saying, "We're not going to. We don't need your services now. Please call back in six months or seven yeah. months." And we said this the other day. A good salesperson would honour that request. Yeah, and, and invariably, if you if you get that response from the decision maker, that's it. You draw a line with it, mm. and you move on. Yeah. If you think about it from a business perspective, from a resource, mm. you think about the the man hours and time and resource that have been taken by getting the the gatekeeper to constantly keep rebuffing you, and it, it, it'd probably be better use of resource and time mm. and money if you had that conversation fairly quickly, fairly soon on in the in the engagement in the relationship with that potential client from a decision maker saying. We're not interested, we move on, we move on. Mm. And, and uh, as you say, we're principled and respectful in that respect. And we do, we don't, we're not aggressive salespeople, I don't think, no. in that respect. So we do, we do respect that. <laughs> I don't know, I've heard a couple of Christine's calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get pretty irate. Yeah, yeah. No, there are, he stands there are, up and chucks things yeah. down on his desk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, there are some sales calls where I've come off the court and I've been a little bit frustrated with how people That's have uh, perceived me. And... It's going to take a few moments to yourself, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's just some people are really rude on the phone. Um, they speak, they kind of speak down to you and expect, oh, like, it's just yeah. the way people come across is you try and you explain best you can. Mm. Every call I make, I explain the reason why I call, why I want to speak to them and just establish how we progress. Mm. We're not stupid. We understand that it, it is a little bit irritating. Mm. Uh, 
But I, I was going back to what we were going to say earlier. We'd be fairly hypocritical wouldn't we, if we were going to say that. Oh, when we get a sales school, you know, we find it really annoying. You've got to see it from the other side of the, oh, the yeah. other sort of uh, yeah. boots on your foot, so to speak. The thing that um, I want to just bring up is actually the uh, when you get a, a really negative call, uh, the next call or caller is mm. then impacted. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, we'll move. So yeah. um, if you get somebody that's actually genuinely friendly on the phone and uh, you warm to them instantly, mm -hmm. you're more likely to give them a, a, a pleasant response back. It might be a negative one, but uh, more likely to give them a, a pleasant response back. And it's a kind of, um, that feeds then the next call. So the person making the calls is then kind of feels better about what they're doing, their job, and then they deliver a better service. So okay. it's a, it's all about motivating the salesperson. I know that's not the responsibility of the person who answers the call. <laughs> no, Please yeah. motivate my salespeople. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> look, <laughs> okay. so look at this from a different point of view. Um, there's going to be sales experts out there and people that are going to look at this video and probably be um, crit criticizing how we approach our calls. It'll always be critical. Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So uh, uh, the real good salesmen, the people that bill loads of money and stuff, will they say that our approach is wrong? How do you think we ourselves could put us in a position to make sure that the decision maker or the people that we're selling to want to hear from us? We, we would take a soft approach. Um, I don't, I never ever would, um, I don't think any of us are behind hard sales, pushy sales. It's no, not, um, no, not would, something anyone needs. I wouldn't be an advocate of, of this company if you were. Like, yeah. I would feel like, I like your, your, your approach in that respect, yeah. so it fits in quite yeah. because the, <laughs> the way we've respect, the way we've actually been approached is how we sell our services is we may not pick up a, a position or a meeting straight away, but there may be a time where you actually need our services. And that's the benefit of using the recruitment agencies because a lot of people think they don't need your, your services because at the time there's their, their, the, the position they're working on is working really well through job boards, through their own internal successes, which is fantastic. I myself push people to that by saying, if it works, don't fix it. But there may come a well, job- pushing people onto job boards. No, because they're already on it. <laughs> no, but no, but no, 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 but this is the point. Okay. We should be in a position where our, the value we're adding is greater than what they're already receiving. And I go back to the point I make a lot of the time about value. Obviously, mm. you may disagree. But my argument is if that we may attract talent to our organisation purely because of our reputation and the people we already know, mm. those companies might not have the same reach as us. And that's why it's a benefit of using agencies. And I used an example of a sales call the other day. They said they were using quite a few different agencies for a role. I already knew two people that I knew from friendship and previous relationships that I knew could do the role. So I'm already, I already know two people that those other big agencies don't. Yeah. So it's about our reputation and our, uh, the, way, the way we perceive ourselves in the, in the public. Yeah. That attracts people to us. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> they were rough. Rough. yeah. yeah. you put the board in there. <laughs> but um, we just need to make sure that if you, the product and the service we're selling adds more value to what they're currently receiving. That's the whole point of it. Yeah. And I think you have to be realistic about it, and this is something that I've sort of changed slightly recently in the sales calls, is the fact that, look, we're realists, we know we're not, we're not gonna, you know, unless we're very lucky, which yeah. has happened, but generally speaking, you, you come on a telephone call uh, and you're not gonna pick up a job straight away, right? You're playing a long game, you, you're being realistic. Yeah, no, you're, 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 you're a continuing yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. right? So we, 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 we jump on either, Underneath their own their own inner workings or underneath a PSL, and if, yeah. if things aren't working out, then you come to the contingency agent, us, yeah. and then then from there you, you develop a relationship and prove prove your, your worth and your service and your approach yeah. and, and how you operate and your and your that's also really it results yeah. get the opportunity that's, that's to where prove we yourself. sit certainly with, with with first and second um, sort of points of contact in, in sales calls is is worth contingency and we yeah. we understand that and we completely. Yeah, Appreciate no, that's actually bang on head because uh, we will be seen as a contingency agency yeah. Um, yeah. by many. Uh, but exactly that, it's uh, we are more than that. It's uh, it might be might be a case that you have to call on us when uh, when you either can't source the uh, people yourself or um, or your other agency or other agency can't supply. Um, but then it's that's where a relationship starts, and mm -hmm. I think. Throughout um, throughout the time working at Mayday, many a many a relationship started like that, mm. yeah. and then actually it's, uh, it's up to us to prove the the added value. Yeah, what one client's contingency is is another client's go to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. just where you are in that in that relationship um, mm. sphere, I suppose. Mm. It yeah. all comes down to being provided the opportunity to prove yourself, and then yeah, matching that customer service continually right in terms of providing the service you promised to that organization over and over and over again at the same standard they're expecting
Yep. Yeah. And obviously that's where relationships break down when that service starts to drop down and that may be because they picked up other clients where they're trying to impress them or where they're just actually struggling because they haven't got that the, the, the people or the service they can provide, if that makes sense. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas that's when we obviously come in or where our competitors come in and sort of way and take the relationship or so on. But that's where that's where we're at. Oh, it's summarise, just be nice to your phone. Yeah. <laughs> be really. nice, that's uh, We're nice blokes, we're, yeah. we're right, we're not complete we're, monsters. We've taken an awfully long time just to ask a simple <laughs> yeah, question. To get round to the phone. Please be nice to us, yeah. we are. Yeah, we're only we're doing very our sensitive. Job. <laughs> we are sensitive souls. Um, we're only human. We're only human. That's it at the end of the day. We're, we're, just, we're just doing a job, uh, trying to provide a, a service and our value to what you may be missing. Yeah. And it's not just the recruitment process in terms of finding the right person. We also can help with the whole aspect of recruitment. So mm-hmm. we can obviously help at looking at how you, how you interview, uh, your onboarding process. We can get involved in all of that. Yeah. From I start, think doing, start to finish. You're going to be doing uh, a few pieces, they call it pieces? Yes. Uh, releasing some content every, about that. Every week I'm going to, uh, starting this week, I need oh, to write no. it up. Well, I'm no, start, next week. Week. <laughs> start next week. Start next week. Okay, if you want me to start next week, I don't yeah. mind when I start. But, um, I've forgotten already. going to go through the process of, first of all, it's going to be recruiting. So in terms of how, how you should actually start from the beginning. So the first step in recruiting is actually knowing what you want. <laughs> So it's not just ma- clients. Yeah, so oh, it's right. not just yeah. making it up well, on the spot. For a candidate, well, and and from a candidate, yeah. yeah. So yeah. once the once the clients then I'll move on to the candidate and how you should prepare for uh, approaching a job search or what you should be doing to put yourself out there. Okay. Because obviously we, we, we have conversations in the background and I think you involved? you're more than welcome Thanks. to come in if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think it's I think it's vitally important to share my, I, I'm gonna explicitly say it, it's my opinions on how I think it should be done. Because obviously um, I, I, I get involved. In you've got a job. pretty you've got a pretty qualified opinion by now, though. Yeah, so. I'd like to think so, and um, <laughs> it's it's been reasonably successful. Obviously, there's been situations where it's not worked, but you live and learn, and I'm sure. Yeah. Well, you learn through failure, don't you? Yeah, that's it. That was that's all it. The anyway. greatest failure. It's important. Yeah. It's important lesson for life, people. <laughs> so it's, so it's, <laughs> that is very good. Good. good whatever it's worth. Um, so uh, just before we wrap up, the other thing is, uh, so we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis. Um, next week we've got uh, Rob Hutt. Um, Rob Hutt is um, from Flash Buzz. So Flash Buzz are video marketers, um, and he'll be coming in to talk a bit about uh, Flash Buzz and just uh, video marketing generally. We've uh, we've also uh, spoken to Mez Christie from Newlyweds. Um, she's going to be coming in in a few weeks' time. I think at the start of June, um, newlyweds have done really well on making themselves uh, an employer of choice. So she's going to uh, come in and uh, talk a little bit more about um, how they've gone about doing that. Um, and also, uh, shout out to uh, a David Seeney. <laughs> David Seeney, top, yeah. top Mayday News top uh, fan. Uh, fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a loose, uh, loose term fan, really, isn't it? Yeah. Troll? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> David, I'm going to go with Groovy. I like Groovy. David, if you'd like to come in um, and show your brother how to, uh, how to do um, social media video content, then um, yeah, please do. Nice. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, we've got a slot free in two weeks' time if uh, if you could put the time it's off. All yours. Or or we'll, we'll come, come out to you. To you. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> <coughs> okay, um so yeah, so we're gonna um, we're gonna be getting guests in so it's not always gonna be um us three uh, chatting long. Um You'll be very pleased to hear. Okay. In fact if we've got anybody still watching it now, I've got no idea how long we've been going on for, but it's gotta 45 be five minutes. Forty, forty five minutes? <laughs> no, I reckon about thirty. About thirty. Yeah, it's very, very specific. Very anyway, all right, yeah, that's it. If you have a topic or anything you'd like to discuss and you want to come on to the, or whatever yeah. the show is, feel free to reach out to us because, yeah, it could be anything in regards to recruitment. So, if you're uh, a candidate, not recruitment, oh, yeah, not even say, recruitment. It, does, it doesn't matter what it is, Football. I'm sure we've got an opinion about Football. it. Football, yeah. yeah, tough being a Man United fan at the moment. Who are you speaking to? I'm a Northampton fan, oh, yeah, right. you can see mm. Man United. Nah. I'm a cobbler. We're rubbish. Yeah. See you later, thank you. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay.